David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you a pen which has probably been in my collection for over 10 years, and I've just never got around to reviewing it. But now I have a good reason to, which I'll get to here in a bit. That pen is the Lamy Vista. And the version that I'll be showing you today is a special limited production version available exclusively through Goulet Pens, which is the Lamy Vista Black. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Lamy Vista, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Um, I'll also talk about how a Lamy pen made a rather inauspicious appearance in a recently released TV show. Uh, thanks go out to the good folks at Goulet Pens for providing a pen for review, as well as providing one to give away to one of you. Um, I'll let you know how you can enter to win a little bit later in the review. The pen arrives in this distinctive cardboard box. Uh, Lamy has a, a strong brick and mortar retail presence around the world. These boxes are part of their branding. Uh, the slots look really cool and they don't take away from the structural integrity of the box. Uh, plus these boxes don't take up much valuable shelf space in a store. Uh, many stores have standing displays that hold maybe like 100 pens. Uh, you open this up, and inside we have a couple of things. There is a little use and care guide, and then there is a Lamy proprietary Z28 converter. Uh, most Lamy and Vistas don't come with a converter, so it's nice that Goulet is including one with this specific model. Um, and then attached to this uh, rather thick cardstock, we have the pen. You know, I've always liked this. Um, you see this cardboard piece serves dual purposes. Um, it holds the pen in place inside the box, but then it also provides some structural integrity to the box to help it from being crushed. It always makes me smile when I come across like intentional design that looked like that, that uh, looks nice and serves a purpose. And there we have the pen. Uh, this is the Lamy Vista, and this special edition is the Black Edition. Uh, the Vista essentially is a transparent Lamy Safari. So as I talk about this pen, I'll be mentioning the Safari as well when it's applicable. Uh, Vista is the Spanish word for view. So the transparent nature of this pen and being able to view the insides makes Vista an appropriate name. Uh, you know, for the sake of this review, I'm going to take off the included cartridge and another part, but I'll get back to that in just a second so we can get a better look at what's going on in here. Uh, the pen is made from a transparent plastic. Um, it has a smooth and polished feel to it. Some safaris have a more polished look, but then a lot of them have more of a, a matte feeling to them. I personally, I kind of like the matte ones a little bit more. Um, and as the black name of this pen would imply, the trim on this limited production version is black. Um, let's start by taking a look at the top of the cap. The finial contains a plastic insert with an X on it. For Lamy Vista and Safaris, the fountain pen model has an X, but then the rollerball version just has a single line. It reminds me of a Phillips and flathead screws. With the difference in finials, it allows you to tell the difference between a fountain pen and a rollerball version of this pen, uh, which look virtually identical on the outside without removing the cap. Again, kind of thoughtful design that is uh, something that I enjoy about these pens. Uh, then we have the distinctive Lamy clip. It looks a lot like a paper clip to me. Uh, it's a very functional design, which looks nice as well as works well in materials of varying thicknesses. With the transparent nature of this pen and the thinness of the clip, it really helps give you a virtually unobstructed view of what's going on on the inside of the cap. The cap is straight. Inside, you get a good look at the metal inner cap, which also houses the capping mechanism. So the cap is actually secured to the section here at the end of the section rather than the uh, bottom of the cap. Um, at the end of the cap, there is a medium sized step down to the barrel, which is round with two wide facets. Uh, basically, it's a modified oval shape. Uh, the distinctive feature of this barrel are these two long oval ink windows. On other Safari models, which are opaque, then these serve as useful ink windows. But on this transparent Vista, while they still give you a good look at your ink situation, it's uh, not as necessary. It's part of the overall iconic design. Uh, it really doesn't look it, but the barrel does taper down ever so slightly, only about half a millimeter from beginning to end. Uh, near the end, 
Printed is the Lamy name. Actually, I think it's a sticker affixed with some adhesive. Um, it appears to be black in this picture, but it's a very shiny reflective silver. You can see here how it differs compared to the Safari and All Star. On the All Star, the logo is engraved in outline. On the Safari, it is debossed. And then on the Vista, it is that sticker. Then the end of the barrel is flat, and you can get a better look at that modified oval design. The cap easily snaps off, and underneath we have the distinctive Lamy nib in black. Uh, Lamy does make their own nib. They are a bit on the smaller side. I would say somewhere between a traditional number four and number five size nib. Uh, it has a unique design where the shoulders of the nib are folded over, and that's how the nib holds on to the feed. Uh, this pen is available from Goulet in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Um, if you ever need to change out a Lamy nib, it's really easy to do so. They actually just slide right off. Now, they don't really like, easily slide off, but it's uh, not like the nib will slide off during standard use. You need to have some uh, intention in order to remove the nib. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit tough to get a hold of it. So a helpful tip is to actually put a bit of like scotch tape on the top. You can stick it to the top and then it helps you pull it off a little bit easier. Um, this is what the section looks like. There are two long facets on either side of the section. This section design for Lamy, which they use on a number of their pens, can be a bit polarizing. Uh, it essentially forces your grip into a specific position in order to index the nib. Uh, this is helpful for some folks to correctly align the nib to the writing surface. Uh, the design works for me personally. It fits well with my natural grip, but for other users who might have more of a, a non-traditional grip, it might feel a bit awkward and forced. Some folks don't like to be told what to do, and this section tells you what to do and how to use it. If you don't conform to it, the section can be a bit uncomfortable. Uh, the section threads to the barrel have two entry points, and I like that for one of those entry points, the Lamy logo on the barrel is facing you when you write. If you are a lefty, that's not the same uh, using either of the entry points. Plus, the logo is upside down for you. If you're a lefty, I'm sure you're used to things being a little upside down for you at times. Uh, the Vista is long enough to use unposted. The cap does post, and I do like that even though the barrel is oval, the cap is round, so you don't have to fidget around with the alignment in order to post the pen. It does post deeply and securely. The cap is very light, so I don't find it backweights the pen or throws off the balance at all. Um, I prefer to use this pen posted. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. Lamy does utilize proprietary cartridges and converters, so you need to make sure you are purchasing the correct kind. Um, the pen arrives with a cartridge, and as I mentioned up top, uh, Goulet is including a Z28 converter as well. Um, a reminder that the vast majority of safaris do not include a converter, and you need to pick up the appropriate one separately. Um, even though this pen does not contain any metal, with these two large holes in the barrel, eye dropping obviously would not be recommended. Though I bet that somewhere out there, there's someone who wasn't thinking straight and tried to eyedropper this pen and quickly realized they made a grave mistake. Now, when you receive a Vista or Safari, let me just go ahead and put this together. When you receive this pen, it arrives like this. Um, there is a cartridge inside the barrel, and then there's this little cardboard spacer between the section and the barrel. Uh, this serves a very useful purpose. Uh, its purpose is to prevent the cartridge from being pierced. Um, you see, the way the pen is designed, if that spacer isn't there, if you screw the section all the way in, it'll actually push down on the cartridge as you screw the barrel so that you don't need to uh, force a cartridge on. You can just place it in the barrel and screw it down, and then it works. It's a really neat design. Now, this spacer recently caused a bit of a stir in the fountain pen community. There is a scene in the Disney series Moon Knight where Ethan Hawke holds a pen. It is a safari, and as you can clearly see, the pen still has the spacer on it, which was kind of funny. Now, I realize TV and movies are fake, and that mistakes happen all the time and are immortalized for all to see. But someone in the props department had to make a specific choice. Uh, this character needs a pen. Uh, everything in this scene is stark and white, so why don't we uh, add something to match the decor? They chose a fountain pen, even though I don't believe you ever see the character writing with it. But no one there knew enough about pens to remove the spacer. It just gave me a bit of a chuckle. 
The Lamy Vista Black is a limited production model and is available only through Goulet Pens. I'll put a link to it where you can find it on their site in the notes below. Um, it retails for just under $35, which is very much in line with many of other Lamy's models. Uh, Lamy makes great workhorse pens. These are great knockabout pens that look great and perform nicely as well. Uh, they're a very good value for the money. And I think that this model looks really sharp. Okay, in regard to the giveaway, I have one of these in medium to give away courtesy of Goulet Pens. There is a link in the notes below to a Google form where you will enter your name, an email address, as well as answer an optional question. Uh, there is one entry per person, please. 72 hours from the time I post this video, I will select a name at random and email you with instructions on how to claim your prize, which I'm confident you will enjoy. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Lamy Vista Black. Um, this is what it looks like next to a standard Lamy Vista. You can see that the main difference is that clip. Um, then in regard to a couple of other Lamy pens, here it is with an All Star. And then here it is with a Safari. Uh, and then here it is with a Lamy 2000. That one's in stainless steel. In regard to one more Lamy, this is the Studio. And then for a couple of demonstrator pens, this is the Monteverde Monza and an Opus 88 demonstrator. And finally, a Twisby VAC 700 irises. In regard to an uncapped comparison, um, here it is with the Studio and the Lamy 2000. And then this is the Twisby uh, VAC 700 Iris. Okay, here we go with a writing sample for the Lamy Vista Black. This is a, a broad stainless steel nib. And the ink I'm using today, since I'm using a Lamy pen, I thought I'd use a, a nice Lamy ink, which is Lamy Dark Lilac. This is what the ink looks like. It's one of my favorite kind of more saturated dark purples. Uh, this was a special edition ink or a limited edition ink that was introduced a number of years ago and very popular. Um, this is what it looks like with Cross Violet, which is another one of my favorite purples, as well as Private Reserve Purple Mojo. This is what the Lamy ink bottles look like. Uh, they're really nice. And then it's kind of nice because they have uh, this paper here that you could use to clean off your nib, which I, it's one of those things that I, I think it's cool that it's there, but I really don't use those. Um, but, uh, but I do think it's cool that they add them. And then here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do find that this broad nib is very generous. I do care for the Lamy broad nib. Um, I like the medium. The fines are a little bit too fine for me, but uh, this broad is very smooth. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. Um, but I'd say the ink flow is very generous on this broad. And in regard to reverse writing, which is a little hard to do with this feed... Well, the section, not the feed. Um, it's a little scratchy, but it gets the job done. And then in regard to some fast writing. The feed keeps up just fine. 
So there we have the Lamy Vista Black. Uh, thanks again to Goulet Pens for providing this pen for review. And then don't forget about the giveaway. Um, I have one in medium to give away courtesy of Goulet Pens as well. Uh, and then I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out this pen on the Goulet site. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.